Hi friends, my name is Crystal with Psychic ND and I'm here to do your reading for Friday, September the 8th. This is a collective reading. Let's find out what is being highlighted, featured, or addressed for Friday. Saturn, limits and lessons. So probably most of you know that Saturn is often referred to as Daddy Saturn. And it's, there's a reason for it, right? And maybe we've been kind of growing and stretching and um, overcoming a lot and trying to find, you know, new ways of being and new ways of doing. I feel like for a lot of you guys, but also you're going to start finding new limits and new lessons because even the ocean needs some boundaries in order for it not to, you know, um, come up on the land and kind of drown us all. <laughs> For lack of a more cultivated way of saying things, right? So we could be experiencing some limits and lessons, whether it be finances and, um, you know, personality things. I'm getting a jump right here. The Knight of Wands, even limits on what it is that you desire and setting limits on that. Uh, it could be shopping. It could be, you know, I do like to shop. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> What's my first thought is the hang panda and definitely looking at things from a different perspective. Okay. So maybe perhaps slowing down and setting limits on yourself and setting a budget, that kind of a thing, but even, um, overall general life lessons. And some of these lessons can look really different, right? Bottom of the deck, I'm getting the six of pentacles because even people who, really share with you or want to share with you sometimes those come with like strings attached and that could be a life lesson and sometimes you're going to have people that share with you out of the kindness of their hearts and they expect zero from you and that is another lesson and you know sometimes it is a combination thereof and that is a different lesson so i think that depending on your perspective just like this hanging panda um you can learn so many lessons in one little thing and that can really take you far and i heard spare you a lot of pain interesting the term seven of swords it says oh wow okay this is somebody sneaking off this is somebody doing their own thing this is somebody maybe even having a vision with that, um, the star. I don't think I noticed that before. Hanging from one of the swords. And it's like, hey, I'm going to do me. I'm going to do my own thing. Sayonara. Because this panda is taking a chance on themselves. And that is um, not a bad thing and not a good thing. I feel like everything is just kind of subjective at this point. And it really depends on how we react, behave, or uh, how we set our minds into things. Excuse me, but the Six of Swords, I feel like, tells me that there is movement, okay? And there is movement, and maybe other people are, um, I heard jealous of you, but what I meant to say is maybe, you know, people, yeah, maybe people are trying to hold you back, or maybe there's, again, naysayers, or um, people really kind of not understanding what it is that you're doing and so they could be experiencing as well limits and lessons that they need to mind their own life and not some uh, somebody else's you know pending that they are an adult as well of course bottom of the deck i do have the lovers this could be about making a choice between two different things two different people of equal or competitive importance so this could be an old lover versus a new lover and is that where we're making our way interesting all right i'm curious i gotta pull two more what's up okay i lied three more uh-huh Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, and then we have the Queen of Wands. Interesting, I feel like some of you guys, this won't be for everybody, but for some of you guys, this has to do with two lovers, because the Queen of Pentacles, somebody who's very, very grounded, family-oriented, um, and very much focused on, you know, being a salt of the earth and providing and, and taking care of business. And the Queen of Wands is definitely somebody who is very passionate about her dreams her goals her visions and what it is that she wants to create in this world it's all about creativity this person can have like you know two or three or four businesses or it seems like always hustling and this one is just very grounded and maybe the hustle just looks different it could be you know um doing a lot of things in the home front like canning or um i don't know you know 
or gardening and uh, taking the surplus veggies to farmer's market to earn more for family and things like that. The Nine of Cups, I feel like there is movement towards happiness. The one thing that you wanna really be aware of, be careful of, or think twice about, is if you are in this Five of Swords energy. This is lies and deceit and betrayal. This is I wanna win at any cost. So if you have two people, if this is a romantic thing for you, because um, I see two um, storylines basically, if this is a romantic thing, then you're gonna have to decide, you know, what kind of a person are you? Are you gonna attempt to make to win at any cost? Um, and I'd be very cautious about that energy, not only because I just don't like it, I despise it personally, but, um, you know, everybody's free to make their own decisions. And if you have to win that bad, then I'm going to say there are other issues that you really need to address. But this is somebody who has to win at all costs, doesn't care about any contracts that they have currently or even in the past. Keep in mind that it, if, if that's our energy, then Daddy Saturn limits and lessons are here for you specifically. So if you're thinking about winning at any cost, you know, this stuff, this is stuff that lands people in jail, that lands people in financial debt or, um, you know, somebody drawing a hard line in the sand. The Five of Swords is not an energy to be played with, but also the repercussions of that is not going to be pretty. So that is what I have for you. Much love to you until next time. Namaste.